Hey there, how's it going? Well, I just got back from Fred Meyer. It's a somewhat local Oregon, Washington-based grocery slash department store. And uh, something I've noticed is, you know, a lot of these stores have these sanitary wipes that you wipe down the carts with. It's either Purell or Clorox or Lysol or Wet Ones brand, whatever. They'll have these, these free wipes that you can use to wipe down the carts with. Well, I've been noticing that people aren't taking an extra one of those wipes so they can wipe down the handles of the refrigerated sections. So they just go to the refrigerated sections, open up the door, grab what they want, and then don't think anything of it. It's just like, well, you want to wipe down the handles. It's just like the cart. I mean, why did you bother wiping down the cart, but you're not going to wipe down these handles? I guess they're just not thinking about it. I mean, if you, if you, so how many, there's a lot of people that have touched those handles and you touch that and it's, your hand gets contaminated. Now everything that you touch that you grab of other food items is going to be contaminated as well. Why aren't people thinking about that? I don't know. Maybe they're too concerned about toilet paper. And definitely the toilet paper and all the paper products sections of Fred Meyer were totally empty. Now, an area that I wish wasn't empty, I wish I wouldn't have forgotten about until until more recently is i mean usually we keep extra con- extra containers of rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide usually we have a number of extras on hand but for some reason lately we didn't and those things are out at most of the stores as well and i hope that i'm not going to have to to get more i hope i don't have to pay the price gouged prices that some retailers on amazon are offering I mean, have you, have, you, have you seen some of the price-gouged things that are on there right now? I mean, just for the sanitary wipes, for instance. They, they want like 17 bucks for a little thing of, of sanitary wipes that's usually like 3 bucks, right? I mean, major price-gouging going on. I don't think they should be allowed to do that, but whatever. It's Well, it's capitalism, so, you know, they can get away with it. But yeah, I mean, and I also noticed that People aren't using those wipes to wipe down the keypad. You know, when you use to, do you pay for your food with, with the, or whatever you bought with the card? Yeah, they're not wiping down the keypad. They're not wiping down the screens on the, the uh, uh, self-serve stations. They just do everything like it's normal. They don't, they're not even using their knuckle to push the, uh, the buttons on the keypad. No, just no, no precautions at all. And that's weird to me. You know, um... When you've went shopping recently, have you been wiping down the handles? Have you been wiping down the keypads? You know, what have, what have you been doing? Just curious. I, I like to be as careful as I can in, in this age of worrying about the coronavirus. <laughs>